Howdy y'all, Lone Star Rider here. Got a new helmet review. Y'all stick around. Lone Star Rider on his motorcycle. Guys, I'm glad you stuck around. I got a new helmet uh, that was donated to me from, from Riders Bikers Supplies. They're a new sponsor and their information will be down below. Uh, they're located in Louisville, Texas. Go check them out. If you're in Louisville, Texas, go buy there. They got an awesome store. Anyway, they, they gave me this LS2 Valent um, motorcycle helmet. It's similar to the Shark Evalon 3 uh, helmet that I have. With the big exception, this thing is like half the weight. I'm gonna have to weigh them and put that down there. Uh, it is uh, an amazing helmet. I'm gonna have to uh, give it a good wear for a month and then I'll give a, a final review on this helmet. Uh, right now, this is just the first look. So, first look on this helmet. It does. If the shield is down, this is not. This is what the uh, shark doesn't do. When you bring the chin guard around, it raises the shield. Now the shark will raise the shield if you raise the chin guard around, and it goes 180 degrees. To the back and locks into the back uh, and, and this is a DOT certified three-quarter helmet and a full-faced helmet it has locking this really quick snap I don't know what they call it but it's and it's a DOT approved too it's a uh, pretty darn cool I've wore the helmet for a day so far and it <sighs> It comes off pretty easy. I have to kind of get used to not taking the uh, D-ring and taking the strap off because this just pops right off. It's it's so easy. And when it's on you, it stays. This is a uh, pretty cool helmet. Uh, they do have a office here in California in the United States. I think these helmets are made in Asia and they're over in Europe uh, is their main headquarters. Uh, the, the story about their helmets and everything is on their website. It's a pretty neat little story. The other thing this thing has, which is very cool, is it has a sunshade. And it is a pretty dark one too. And uh, so far, since I've been wearing this helmet, it feels really, really comfortable. Um, dare I say, it's even more comfortable than the Shark Evalon 3. So we'll, we'll have to see how well, when I'm uh, riding those, full, those long days, how the helmet feels. For a dollar a month, you can help me continue to raise awareness and money for the cure to diabetes in memory of my son. Click on that link down below and check out my Patreon site. It'd be greatly appreciated. It's ready for pin lock, which I didn't know nothing about until today. It's a uh, inner uh, liner for this visor that uh, reduces fog. Also, it's ready for Cena's Link Ride Pal. Uh, this particular helmet is a 2X large. It says that it's extra comfortable, breathable, and hypohalogenic. This helmet came with a really nice helmet bag, so you could actually store it in here, which I probably will not do. <laughs> it came with this, which I'm not quite sure what this is. Uh, it wasn't in the list. This is a velvet bag. And a blow up helmet support. So, like I said, I'm not sure what this is used for because I've never seen one. 
could use it when I go on airline flights, go to sleep, blow it up. I don't know. I have to, I'll have to uh, look into this further. It says Helmet Sport. And it's from L. S2. This was in the bag, and it's a tool to remove the visor if you need to. So apparently, I don't want to lose this because you need a special tool to replace the visor. It just looks like a pin that's got a slant. I'm not sure exactly. Got a little rubber on this piece of plastic so in a couple of months i'll give you a full-blown review on what i think about the helmet all uh, right glasses friendly uh, the footprint of this helmet is smaller than the uh, shark and like i said it weighs a lot less now it's not time to replace my shark evalon shark evalon 3 because typically helmets have uh, but, like I said, this was donated, and I'm trying it out, and we'll see if I like this better or not. I am going to have to get the uh, Cena kit to put my Bluetooth headset on here, um, which is actually 80 bucks. So um, I'm going to have to order that and see how well I put that on, and also do a video on it. Even though it's ready for the LinkedIn Ride, uh, Ride Pal, LinkedIn Ride Pal, um, from Cena, uh, it's not as a robust heads, Bluetooth headset, and you don't get uh, 4.0 with like that. Uh, registration to register a helmet was fairly easy. You just scan the barcode, and it takes you to the website. You can fill out that information, which was pretty darn cool. Comes with a nice little sticker and some other stuff. Well, first off, let's take off some of these stickers. Nice fit. This uh, helmet also came with all these cards that were attached and a sticker. Five year warranty, which most helmets have. Um, microfiber control technology. Um, that's the register barcode. And this was to download the manual, which I recommend you do and read. Um, it says no heat, and it's talking about the, uh, the liners inside. You hand wash them and let them hand dry, just air dry. Like I said, this is a initial review and uh, my thoughts on this helmet. I'm going to give a detailed review after wearing it for a couple of months and we'll see uh, how I like this helmet. If y'all are not subscribed to me on YouTube, you should be. Click on that subscribe button down below, then hammer the hell out of that bell and you'll get an email notification that I've uploaded a video. And if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up, share, comment, let me know what you think. Catch y'all on the road. Recording. Oh, I did switch. The I forgot what I was going to say. Yeah. <laughs> and if you guys are not subscribed to me on YouTube, what's up with that? Click on that. Damn bikers. <laughs> I don't know if y'all can hear that or not. If y'all are not subs... That's it. <laughs>